Hi, I'm Grandpa. My grandkids and I want to tell you the amazing story of the messenger RNA vaccine for COVID-19. It is the latest and probably the greatest chapter in the epic battle between humans and disease-causing viruses. Kids, tell us what you learned about the history of that battle. Hi, I'm Lizzie with the worst news about that history. Viruses and bacteria have always been attacking us humans. Their biggest win was the plague called the Black Death that occurred around the year 1350. It killed almost half the people in Europe. Hi, I'm Nettie. I have great news. In 1796, Edward Jenner invented the vaccine. It prepared people's immune system to fight a disease by exposing them to a weaker form of the disease. Hi, I'm BC with more good news. In the 19th, 20th, and 21st centuries, vaccines using Jenner's concept were successfully used to fight diseases. The name's Milo, and my news is not so good. These vaccines that typically use dead or weakened forms of the virus or bacteria can take up to eight years to develop. So, Grandpa, why is the mRNA vaccine so special? The mRNA vaccines use an awesome breakthrough technology that is making drastic changes in medicine. They are the first genetically engineered vaccines. Genetic engineering means using the genetic codes in DNA and RNA. And they are fast to develop. The mRNA piece of the COVID-19 virus genetic code took just two days to create. The complete vaccine with the mRNA in protective oily droplets was ready to test in just 38 days. Finally, the mRNA vaccines are safe because they only use a small piece of the virus that can't make you sick. Instead of a dead or weakened virus, it uses the little knobs on the surface of the coronavirus called protein spikes. This is what the protein spikes look like. Without the rest of the virus, they won't make you sick, but they will get your immune system ready to fight the whole COVID-19 virus. This new technology sounds important. Since I'm planning to be a doctor, I need to know all about it. This vaccine sounds awesome, Jeepa! Let's get started! We're going to follow the vaccine in Aunt Debbie's body when she gets injected for the vaccine trials. Right, Papa? Right, VC. Great! Let's get on the cosmic egg and use its time, space, and size change function to go into Aunt Debbie's body to follow the vaccine! My mom is about to get her shot for the vaccine trials! Okay, it's time to see how the vaccine works in a real person. Nettie, pilot us into the needle on the desk. That's cool, Papa. You can see the little oily droplets containing the mRNA. All right, here we go. The vaccine is getting injected. It's kind of dark in here. I'll turn on the floodlights. And I'll turn on the navigation system to see where we are. The navigation system is showing that we are in the arm muscle. Look, I can see some of the oily coated mRNA on the cell surface. I'll launch my drone for a better view. Yes, that's good. Look, the mRNA is moving out of the protective coating and burrowing through the cell membrane into the cell. This is the important part. Once the mRNA is inside a cell, it will take the code in the mRNA and start churning out protein spikes that are identical to those on the virus. It's building the protein spike copies because that is the instruction or code in the piece of mRNA that was extracted from the virus to make the vaccine. 
And now, the protein spikes are starting to grow out of the cell membrane. I got a great idea. Let's put on our breathing helmets and go out and see the protein spikes. We can see if any antibodies arrive. <laughs> Now we have reached the stage that is important. With the foreign coronavirus protein spikes on the cell's surface, they are going to fool the vaccinated person's immune system into sensing that it is being attacked by the real virus. Because it is a simulation of an attack and not the real thing, the person won't get sick, so the immune system has plenty of time to respond. All right. I am now going to advance the time to see how the person's immune system responds. Now I see how the vaccine works. It stimulated the immune system to create antibodies to attack the protein spikes. Those protein spikes are what the virus uses to get inside a cell to reproduce. So, if any virus particles got into the body, the antibodies, which are ready and waiting, would attach to the spikes, so the virus wouldn't be able to get inside a cell to reproduce. Not like Grandpa's case, where his immune system produced hardly any antibodies in time to save him. Run, VC! The antibodies are starting to attack us! <gasps> We should have predicted the attack on you girls. You are foreign objects. So the immune system is going to attack you as well as the protein spikes. They started to attack the ship too. After a while, a vaccinated person's immune system will get its cleanup crew into action. The immune system will destroy all of the protein spikes and infected cells. What remains will be some antibodies and memory B cells to make more antibodies. So a vaccinated person's immune system is ready to combat the COVID-19 virus should it attack. How long will your immunity last, Grandpa? It is possible that in the months after vaccination, the number of antibodies and killer T cells will drop. But the immune system also contains special memory B cells and memory T cells that might retain information about the COVID-19 virus for years or even decades. So that is the story of the mRNA vaccine. Good job, kids. Let's go home. Grandpa, you were right. This really is breakthrough technology. I'll bet that all future vaccines will be made this way. They will probably make new flu vaccines with mRNA. Maybe they can even make a vaccine for cancer. This video was based on a chapter in the Race to the Big Bang Illustrated Storybook. You can read it and the Stardust Mystery Book to have more adventures with the Cosmic Kids. And you can learn lots of science about atoms and astronomy. You can find out how your atoms were produced in the explosive death of stars. That's why atoms are called stardust. And you can find lots more science videos on our Stardust Mystery YouTube channel. Check out video games, short stories, and student projects at our website. TheStardustMystery.com